Hello everyone, my name is Cap and welcome back to CapTech. One of the most vital parts of computer maintenance that a lot of people forget about is the inside of the case. For you see, the inside of your case has a lot of electronic parts and those parts run at really high temperatures when you're using your computer, especially for a high-end gaming rig or a rendering computer. And the air flowing through your computer helps keep those at normal temperatures. If they start reaching excessive temperatures, they can cause malfunctions or even hardware failure. Well, having too much dust and dirt inside your computer prevents the air from being able to cool these electronics the way they need to, so that's why it's important that you clean the dust out on a regular basis. I do this for all of my computers, and I do it for any customer's computers that I work on as well on a pretty routine basis. And in my years of doing this, I have cleaned out some seriously disgusting cases that have never even been cracked open since the day they bought them in the world's dustiest houses, and it was pretty brutal inside the cases. Getting the dust out of the computer is not a hard task to go about doing. All you have to do is just pop the case open. And one of the things you don't want to do is to start cramming a vacuum cleaner hose or a shop vac down in there and sucking the dust out of there. The excessive airflow can cause some static buildup and poking around in there is a good way to damage the hardware. So you want to blow the dust out of the computer to make sure it's being removed completely out there. So I would highly recommend you take this outside or in a garage unless you want to have your house full of dust. Now once you're outside, also you don't need to have excessive amounts of power to blow this out. So you can leave your compressors at home or your leaf blowers, you don't need that much pressure. All you need is some basic canned air. I don't have a specific brand I recommend or use, I just use whatever I can find. And you can buy canned air literally everywhere. You can order it online. I'll put a link to some that I've used in Amazon just in case you want to go buy it and you want to have it shipped to you instead of having to go out and find it. So when you're using your canned air, one of the important things you need to remember to do is to keep the can upright. You don't want to turn it upside down. When you turn canned air upside down and spray it, the condensed coolant inside of it can come out in kind of a liquid form. And if that gets on your skin, it can cause frostbite. And of course, liquid on your components is also really bad. If some does happen to come out while you happen to be using it, just let it air dry for a while. It'll evaporate in a short amount of time. Just try to keep it as upright as possible. And just use the canned air to clean out the case the best that you possibly can. If you start spraying it in inside of any of the fans or the heat sinks or something like that, use your finger to hold the blade still. You don't need to be using the air inside there to force the fan to spin the wrong way. Just hold the blade still while you're blowing the dust out of it. Also, to make sure to get the front and the rear ports of the computer clean because that's where the air comes in and goes out and the dust can build up there quite badly as well. And that's all there is to it. I would recommend doing this once or twice a month. Now your situation may vary depending on how dusty your house is. If you notice that your furniture is getting really dusty and you have to dust it every week, then you might want to make it a little bit more frequent because the inside of your computer is getting just as much dust as your furniture is. And of course, if you have a lot of pets in your house or if you have uh, wooden floors and so you have a lot more dust on the lower end of it that's not in the carpet, you may get a lot more dust buildup in there as well. And that's about it. Just a quick tech tip to help you prolong the life of your computer by keeping it dust free. So if you have any questions, drop it in the comment section down below. If you found the video useful, do me a favor and hit that thumbs up button right below the video. Don't forget to subscribe for future videos so you don't miss out on any of those. Thank you guys so much for your time. You have a wonderful day and I'll talk to you later.